Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to the circuit due to existing energy or existing charges, existing energy. Let me try again. Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to explore the concept of the natural response and the force response of a circuit. We're using the same example as before when we had what we call a RC step function when the source voltage, the DC source voltage, is applied to the circuit at time equals zero. And then we had the equation that we derived from that that says that the voltage across the capacitor is defined by that equation, assuming that at time equals zero, the voltage across the capacitor already had some initial voltage. So there was already some initial energy stored on the capacitor. So the total response is the sum of the natural response and the force response of the circuit. Now the natural response comes from any existing or stored energy in the circuit and since there were charges on the capacitor therefore there was energy on the capacitor the response of the circuit due to that energy is what we call the natural response. The force response is due to the input of the source, in this case the source voltage, it could be the source current as well, but in this example it's the source voltage that drives a current through the circuit and that is called the, how the circuit behaves to that input is called the force response. Now in our equation we can actually separate those two, we can see that the voltage across the capacitor is equal to this component plus this component. This here is what we call the natural response to the circuit because it's driven by the voltage that was already across the capacitor at time equals zero. This here is what we call the force response because it's due to the voltage input of the source which doesn't get turned on until time equals zero. Actually in both cases they don't get turned on until time equals zero because when the switch is open the, the voltage across the capacitor that was already there does not have any effect on the circuit until the switch closes. So for bo in both cases when time equals zero that's when we have both responses at the same time. Graphically here you can see that this is the response curve due to the energy or the charges on the capacitor. So this is what we call the natural response and you can see that it only lasts for a little bit until the effect of the voltage across capacitor slowly dies out over five time constants. Here is a picture of what we call the forced response of the circuit. And you can see that as soon as the switch closes, the voltage from the source drives current through the circuit. And when you combine the two, you get this, which is what we call the complete response of the circuit, where we add both the natural response and the force response together. So here's the natural response due to the energy already on the capacitor. The force response due to the voltage source together forms the complete response of the circuit. And that's what we mean by the natural and the force response of a circuit. 